A recent New South Wales report has found that a state can enact a law for same-sex marriage, even if such a law has not been passed at the federal level. The report opens the way for the states to take the lead when it comes to recognising same-sex marriage. So what's the state of play across the states? The Australian Capital Territory may well be the first jurisdiction in Australia to recognise same-sex marriage. There's moves there to pass a bill in the spring session of Parliament. There's also a bill that's been introduced in New South Wales and there will be a conscience vote on whether it's passed. There's been support for the bill from both sides of politics. In Tasmania, marriage equality activists are hoping that the New South Wales report will take that state out of the holding pattern it's been in since its upper house rejected a same-sex marriage law by just two votes last year. However, the passing of a state same-sex marriage law does come with its challenges. It might be the subject of a High Court challenge on the basis that it could be inconsistent with the Federal Marriage Act. The outcome of any such challenge, though, would be uncertain. A state could recognise same-sex marriage, but that's also something that could not be forced onto the Commonwealth or other states. That means that a married same-sex person could travel out of their state only to find their marriage not recognised elsewhere in Australia. If the states do lead the way on same-sex marriage, we could find ourselves in the same position we were in Federation in 1901, with different marriage laws across the different jurisdictions in Australia. That's something that was only fixed by a national marriage law in 1961. Given the same-sex marriage laws that have been recently passed in countries such as the United Kingdom and New Zealand, let's hope that Australia does not have to wait 60 years for its own national same-sex marriage law.